Here we, here we, here we, here we go, everybody. Yo, 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 it's the GLB, yo, for shizzle. Hey, guys, this is Cuddle of Breath, and today I decided to talk about some trailers that have got me really, really excited lately because there's some movies coming out that I wasn't even looking forward to. And, like, just the other day, I watched three trailers in a row that got me super pumped and super excited for this coming year, just, like, completely pumped. So... With the, the, everything being said, I want to make some apologies for my um, rebuild rant um, last, I think like three days ago I recorded that one, where I totally ripped on the first rebuild of Evangelion film. Because in retrospect, now that I'm beginning to see what they're doing with this series, I'm starting to understand why they took the, the approach that they did with the first film. And let me explain. I just watched the trailer for... Evangelion 2.0, which is the second film in the Rebuild of Evangelion series, and it looks freaking awesome, and it looks absolutely nothing like the original series. I mean, there's a couple of scenes that they homage to in the trailer, but other than that, it looks completely different. Different angels, different robots, different characters, different... It just looks fantastic. The animation... The animation in this is so orgasmically good. I was just looking at this completely. My eyes were drooling, quite literally, and my mouth was open, and I was like, oh my god, I forgive you for everything that you've done when, with Rebuild of Evangelion Film 1, because now I'm starting to get it. The first film, they were trying to recreate the first part of Evangelion, because honestly, to me, that was the point that doesn't need to be restructured. If you're going to make a new Evangelion, the beginning, you don't need to fiddle around with it too much. The next few installments, if they change enough and they really go in and start tweaking stuff, I'll be really, really happy. I'm not going to get my expectations up too high, but this trailer was just phenomenal. And plus, that new girl, whoever she is, she's really hot. Just saying. Wow, I love that character design. And plus, she has a cell phone. And, like, any, ch any anime chick with a cell phone is just, oh, wonderful. And Asuka. Asuka is, like, being animated amazingly. Her hair is, like, flopping all over the place. And it's, like, it looks so good. So, so, so good. This is one of the films I am definitely looking forward to this year. I'm not sure when exactly it's coming out. I'm pretty sure it's probably coming out sometime December or maybe late summer. I need to check into it. The other film that I hadn't even heard about before this point, is District 9. Now, before I go on and talk about how freaking brilliant this trailer is, go and watch it for yourself. Just don't listen to what I'm saying. Just type in District 9 trailer and watch it because me talking about it is going to ruin just how freaking awesome this trailer is. It opens up, and it's just like a documentary. Like, it's a documentary set in Africa, Obviously, and the, it's making you begin to think, all right, this is about the Americans and the British coming in and inhabiting Africa and trying to fix everything. And they're interviewing these Africans on the street who say, we don't want them here. They need to go home. And it's filmed just like a documentary trailer would, like something like, I don't know, um, An Inconvenient Truth or Grizzly Man. Like you see those trailers for those documentaries. That was exactly how it was filmed. Like, and they were interviewing experts about the situation and then later on, you realize, in the middle of the trailer, and this is when things get like, holy moly, this is going to be awesome, is that you realize this isn't anything to do with reality. These villagers and these experts are talking about aliens in Africa. It sounds insane, but this trailer, I was watching it, and I was like, holy moly, there's a UFO in the middle of Africa, and they're filming it like a documentary? And my mind was completely blown, because I'm thinking, wow, this has some real potential. If you're going to film something like a documentary and a sci-fi film and make it believable and make it interesting, this could really be the breakout alien film. This could be like an absolute master stroke. But, you know, it'll probably suck, just like every other movie with a great trailer. But every other as in probably, I would say one out of every eight movies actually live up to the trailer. That's the way I look at it. And typically, I've seen lots of films that had horrible trailers 
that ended up being great movies. Star Trek is one example. I didn't like any of the TV spots or any of the trailers except for the very last one. And even then I wasn't convinced. And then I saw the film and I went, holy moly, this is, this is absolutely brilliant. How come they couldn't have made the trailer like this? When you can tell, typically, in my opinion, that a movie is going to suck is when they start releasing too much footage too early on to draw you in. Like, for instance, Terminator Salvation, one of the big things that made me go, okay, this movie is going to suck. And so far from the reviews that I've been hearing, it, it does suck from pretty much every critical outlet you can imagine. The best I've heard from it is that it's slightly above average. And the worst that I've heard from it is that it was a horrible mess. So when the best you've heard is that it's slightly above average, that's really, really, really not a good sign. But I'm st probably still going to see it anyways when it comes out on DVD because I'm a huge fan of Christian Bale. But Terminator Salvation, one of the key things that hit me about that was that the trailer was about, they released like a four-minute trailer. And I started thinking, you're showing way too much. It's obvious that this movie doesn't have all that much to offer. Otherwise, you would be keeping things, more things from us. You wouldn't just be giving us more, more, more. You would be holding things off. Because what I tended to notice is that really great films have trailers that don't show you all that much, that show you enough to get you excited, and then you go to the theater and you go, whoa, this completely blew me out of the water. One of the big things for me was, if you look at the trailers for Wally, -E, the absolute masterstroke of a Pixar film, they, those trailers hardly even go into the plot. It's just like, ooh, look, it's a cute robot. Oh, look, it's a cute love story. Then I saw the movie and I was like, holy crap, this is a full-on, like, epic sci-fi story in the grand tradition of literature. It's not your typical Pixar film. It's actually a sci-fi story. Not in the sense of giant spaceships blowing the crap out of each other, but in the you know, in the plain out sense. It's a movie about technology and about the way technology affects humanity and the way technology evolves. And it's an, it was excellent. And the trailers for those weren't very revealing at all. But anyways, District 9. Part of the thing that's making me really excited about this movie is that right in the last scene, they've got this alien and they're questioning it. They have it held captive. And there's two versions of the trailer. One version of the trailer has the alien face blurred out in, like, typical documentary fashion to, like, protect its identity. And they're asking, how do your weapons work? And it goes... <laughs> and they're asking it all these things. And then there's another trailer that you can watch where the face is unblurred and it's subtitled. And it's has a really, really sad look to it, even though it's not humanoid at all. It nearly looks like a giant grasshopper. And it's looks at the camera and it goes, we just want to go home. It, obviously, they drop down to the planet to refuel, to do something, and we're keeping them here, is what the trailer's making it seem like. And that's a really interesting concept to me, the fact that these seem to be entirely peaceful aliens, and we're the ones keeping them here. Them here. But we'll see what happens. This could be one of those scenarios where the trailer is really thought-provoking and fascinating, and then you see the movie and it's like, holy crap, that was really, really bad. But it's something that, again, District 9 is the one I'm most looking forward to at the moment, that I'm actually thinking is going to be a, if it's as good as this trailer is leading on, it could be like a massive hit. Or not even as good as this trailer is leading on. The thing is, the concept is so good. It's being produced by Peter Jackson, so I have a lot of faith in it. Ugh, I am, like, just rambling on right now. You know, I've learned something about blogging in general, and that's... Man, I think I really suck at blogging. Okay, anyways.